Hey everyone, so I'm back with a video finally. This is all about Imodium, um, specifically about Imodium Comfort and Imodium Original. I'm going to be comparing the two, talking you through the ingredients in both, um, what the differences are, the pros and cons of each. At the end, I will tell you which one I would personally recommend. So for those of you um, who don't know what Imodium is, although I'm sure you do because that's probably why you're watching this video, you probably have IBS, or we all get bouts of stomach upset, woo, <laughs> uh, sometimes, so maybe that's why you're watching it. For me, I just, if you've never seen my videos before, I suffer with severe IBSD, which is IBS uh, diarrhea. Mm. Um, and I also have endometriosis as well, so I do videos on both. But let's get into this video. So I'm going to first of all talk you through Imodium Comfort. So this is the Imodium Plus Comfort box. It is a little bit different. The packaging does have the purple on it, which is a really good way of telling the difference. There are also the white capsules. Unfortunately, I don't have a box of the Emodium Original. Sometimes I take them out of the boxes and chuck the boxes away, and I just put them in um, like my little pill pouch that I have. Um, so I don't have the box for that. It's very similar, so just be careful. Like if you know which one you want to go for, the difference being the purple, as I just mentioned. Um, Emodium Original does say Emodium, and then Original doesn't have the purple bit and I think it's like green instead but the boxes are pretty similar um, and I've definitely made the mistake before of buying the wrong one because I do get both um, but I used to only get this one and I bought the original one and it was really annoying so just make sure you do check the packaging okay so I'm starting with the Emodium Plus Comfort so the main ingredients found in Emodium Plus Comfort is lopramide hydrochloride, two milligrams, and simeticone. Simeticone is the added ingredient found in the plus version, which is not found in the original. So the tablets found within the box of Emodium Plus Comfort are uncoated white tablets, which are also capsule shaped. Now, these tablets are used obviously to treat diarrhea, that's what Emodium is for, um, predominantly. Now, the difference with Emodium Plus Comfort is the added ingredient and some of the benefits that you get from that. I mean, especially me, um, I do find these ones very helpful. If you suffer from anything like gas and bloating and cramping associated with your IBS or if you've just got a bout of diarrhea, they're really, really good for that. So the dose for Emodium Plus Comfort is two tablets initially, followed by one tablet after every loose bowel movement. You must take no more than four tablets in 24 hours. So it does say on the box of nearly every Emodium, or all of them, that it does treat diarrhea within one hour. Um, now, you might find some of them a bit more effective than others. I'm not sure about the instants. Um, I don't know a lot about those ones. If you want me to do a review on instants and I'll try them for you and everything and let you know what I think, then do let me know. Um, I guess they're instant. They should probably work quicker. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But if you do want me to do a review on them, then please do let me know. So I'm now going to move on to Emodium Original. Emodium Original, obviously, is just the bog standard Emodium um, with its active ingredient of lopramide hydrochloride. Again, it is also two milligrams. The difference with Emodium Original is that it doesn't have the somaticone in it. That's the difference, obviously, compared to Emodium Comfort. Again, I'm not sure about some of the others. They might have some other ingredients in, but I'm obviously talking specifically about Original and Plus Comfort. So it doesn't have that active ingredient. So it's really just to treat diarrhea. And they're good at what they do. Emodium are brilliant. I literally couldn't live without them. Now, again, the dose is similar, but slightly different. And I'll explain that. So initially you do take the two capsules followed by one after every loose bowel movement. The difference is that you can take up to six Emodium Original in a day compared to with the Emodium Comfort, you can only take four. 
Now, Emodium Original is literally just a capsule. It's not difficult to swallow as it's just like a capsule. It's not the sort of white, I don't know how to describe it. You know those tablets that can kind of melt on your tongue like a paracetamol? Well, the Emodium Plus Comfort are a bit like that. They're obviously not coated. So Emodium Original are just in a capsule, which is quite good. So they are easier to swallow if you do struggle with swallowing tablets. So I'm now going to talk you through the pros and cons of each. I will start with Emodium Plus Comfort. So Emodium Comfort definitely provides better relief of symptoms, at least in my view. The thing is with this one, as I mentioned, it does have the added ingredient of Sometacone. So it does treat the associated symptoms of IBS or, you know, if you're just eating something funny or you're just having diarrhea for some reason, it definitely does help with treating the gas, the bloating and the cramping. So that is a big, like, pro. I want to feel as good as I can and they definitely make quite a big difference if you do suffer with the associated symptoms which is probably a bit more IBS related maybe so that is one of the big ones for me now out of personal experience just bear in mind that I'm saying personal because it might not be the same for everyone but I find that with Emergium Comfort I don't need to take as much so I don't need as high a dose they're definitely more effective at getting rid of diarrhea I don't know why because they contain the same amount of lopramide hydrochloride, which is two milligrams. It could be something to do with the added ingredient that just clears things up better. Um, but I definitely find that I don't need to take quite as much of that one. The other benefit um, that I've always found very helpful with Emodium Comfort is you can snap the tablets, they're kind of like rigid with the line down the middle. Um, you can snap them like into thirds as well. I used to do that when I was on a lower dose. You can have better control of how much you want. Some people don't even need two milligrams. They might want one milligram, which would mean you would just snap the tablet in half. That's what I used to take actually, just one milligram a day. Um, I'm up to about eight milligrams now, which isn't great, but you know, that's just the way it is at the moment. So I tend to combine the two, comfort and original depending like how bad I'm feeling on that day or how upset my stomach is. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so they're definitely some of the pros um, for that one. Now I'm now going to move on to the cons of Emodium Plus Comfort. There's really not very many. The only two I can think of is that it's more expensive which obviously can be a bit of a problem or quite a significant problem um, if you're on a tighter budget and you do require a higher dose. Then again, like I said though, you don't need as much of it or I don't find that you do. So the other thing is that they're definitely harder to swallow, just with them being that kind of like white chalky like tablet. Um, there's been a couple of times where it's not gone down very well and it's sort of not very nice obviously. Um, but that's really the only um, downside um, I can think of. I should probably mention that um, this is kind of a pro slash con with Emodium Plus Comfort. If your symptoms aren't really that bad, you've just got mild diarrhea, probably might be better off just taking an original one. Some people find that Emodium can make them constipated. Um, now the thing with comfort is you obviously can control your dose. Um, but if you do find, you know, that they make you constipated, then that might be a bit of a downfall with the Plus Comfort because they definitely are just more effective at treating diarrhea. So I'm going to move on to Emodium Original. Now one of the pros here is that they're definitely cheaper. You can, in the UK at least, get a box of 12 for about the same price as a box of 6 Emodium Plus Comfort. So one of the pros with Emodium Original is that they are cheaper. So you can basically get a box of six, for example, for nearly half the price that you would pay for a box of six Emodium Plus Comfort. Another pro is that they're so much easier to swallow. So that can be a big deal for some people. Now I'll go for the pro-con thing again, where I mentioned about um, the dosage. 
that they're not quite as effective, I don't find. So if you do get constipated from um, Emergium, a lot of people do complain of that. You might be better actually trying the original ones. They're just not as effective. So, you know, like I say, it can be a pro or con. If you've got really bad diarrhea, then it's obviously not gonna help as much. But if you find they make you constipated, then hopefully they won't make you as constipated as the um, Emodium Plus Comfort. I'm now gonna move on to the cons of this one. So some of the downsides for Emodium Original is that you definitely need a bigger dose to get relief. Emodium Original doesn't contain the active ingredient of Semeticone, so it doesn't treat any of the associated symptoms of diarrhea, um, such as pain, flatulence, um, uh, trapped wind, like anything like that. Whereas the Comfort does. Um, so if you do suffer a lot with the added associated symptoms, you might not really find this one so helpful. The other downfall of this one, with it being um, like a capsule, you cannot snap this at all. Um, you literally just need to take it how it is. You can try and empty the powder out. I've tried it, it's messy. Um, not very easy, you can't really work out how much you're taking because obviously you can sort of unscrew it in a way. Tastes awful as well, um, so if you do need to kind of control your dose, I would definitely recommend the Emodium Plus Comfort. So, um, I'm going to let you know now which one I would recommend. Um, you can probably guess already um, that yes, it is the Emodium Plus Comfort. They've literally been a lifesaver to me just in, I mean, Emodium in general, <laughs> um, is very, very helpful for me. I couldn't, you know, like I was very, well, I really struggled before I did take Emodium and now I can kind of really get on with my life a lot better. Yeah, not ideal having to take medication, but yeah, it really does help me. I don't really take anything else as such. So apart from supplements and stuff, you know, so they're not bad. <laughs> So I would definitely recommend Emodium Plus Comfort, um, certainly if you suffer like I do with severe diarrhea um, and you do get a lot of the other symptoms with it because they're just great. I like that I can control my dose as well because sometimes I just feel a bit like I might not really like have diarrhea but I might have eaten something and thought oh that's not really sitting too well and I'll just take like a half of the Emodium Plus Comfort so that's like one milligram or a third, whatever, obviously everyone's doses are different um, and that kind of sorts me out so it's quite good mixing the two actually uh, that's what I'm doing at the moment and I find that that works really well for me so I think a lot of the time it's just personal preference everybody's bodies are different to each other um, as well so really it's whatever you find helps you more as a person Drop your comments down below on which Emodium you do find more helpful. Even if it's not one of the ones I've mentioned, I'd love to hear because if there's one that's even better, then do let me know, I'd be really interested. Genuinely though, <laughs> you know what it's like. Woo! It's exciting this, you know. Mm. Feeling better. Well, I mean it is in the end, but you know. Getting excited over poopy pills is kind of different, you know. Um, so, so yeah, and if you do have any video requests, like I say, I make videos on IBS and endometriosis, I'm a sufferer of both. Um, now, I always should mention, I'm not a doctor, I'm a sufferer, um, and I do a ton of research um, into all kinds of treatments and things to help us to pass on to you. If I can help one of you, or two of you, then that is great. Um, I know my videos aren't going to help everyone. Um, but I've had some really good feedback from some of you and I'm really glad to be of help. I'm here if you want to talk to someone, give me a message. Please do drop a comment, give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe as well if you're enjoying my content. That way you won't miss um, any videos. Like I say, it's been a little while since my last video. A lot's been going on in my personal life um, and, um, and stuff like that. So, well, my life in general, let's say. But, you know, so it's just been a bit of a, I had to have a bit of a break. Um, I was getting a bit overwhelmed and stuff. But anyway, um, I'm back now and I want to do whatever I can to help you. I do have quite a lot of other videos already on my channel, so do check them out. They might really help you. 
So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. My name is Samantha. Thank you so much for watching this and I do hope it has been of some help to you.